Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of Bayerna with the father who is here. Bayerna, Bayerna, why you acting trippy? Bayerna, Bayerna, don't be getting libby. Bayerna, Bayerna, we do them player of views. Bayerna, Bayerna, the hottest thing you do. Now ladies and gentlemen, new team of the week. Very exciting team of the week because we do have a lot of, I think, usable players. Not really top tier like 92 Ronaldo, 95 Gareth Bale. I'm just making up random numbers that don't really make sense. But I like it because we've got a lot of mid tier to slightly above average players. Because if I do a player like 95 Ronaldo, guess what? He's going to be good. Wow, I did the review already. But then a player like this one, Kevin Gamero, 85, his first in form, 88 pace, 82 dribbling, 87 shot, 80 passing. People really like the 83 Gamero, I believe it is. Uh, he's got three star, three star though. I did use his 83 overall and it was good, but it wasn't incredible. Let's look at some of these stats though. 88 composure, 90 finishing. That looks really good. Uh, okay stamina, not very good strength. Nice agility, okay balance. Hopefully the attack positioning and the uh, shot power finishing composure is going to allow him to score a lot, but he does have pretty low dribbling and ball control, so he's not going to be super quick. And another mid-tier player. It's a player review of versus episode. We got Andre Pierre Gignac playing in Mexico. 75 pace, really good shooting, 3-star, three 3-star three like Kevin Gamero. He's similar in that he has 3-star, three 3-star, three he's right-footed, has medium, medium work rates, but I think he's a little bit taller. Look at these stats, 87 composure, 90 finishing. Very similar to what Gamero has, but then worse balance. He does have the 92 strength. So it's going to be interesting to see because these are very similar cards. If I had to tip one that I, thought, that I think is going to be better, I'm going to actually go with Gignac, although Gamero does have the breakaway pace. So we've thrown both these players into this squad. It's uh, full France with Arsene at the helm. We're going to jump into the daily knockout tournament. If you guys enjoy this channel, if you enjoyed the series, drop a like. Hope you enjoyed that 5k music video. It did take a lot of effort, so that's why I wasn't posting as much. But uh, now with this team of the week, we have the same kit on, sir. This guy is back with the Premier League squad. It's, to be fair, it's actually a uh, kind of interesting squad. He has Arson as the manager and the name, and he spelled it wrong. Fake fan, bald fraud. Now, I would say that whoever is playing on the left-hand side, which I believe is Gamero, is at the disadvantage. Both have three-star weak foot, so it's not really fair for either. But Coman is through. And can he whip it in? Oh, he almost found Gamero. Talisa with a great touch, and he can run. Can, can he get someone to run? Okay, Zinyak wants the ball. That's one way to get the ball. And he plays it to Coman. Now I need Gamero to come up. I need Gamero to make that run. Oh, Mustafi got there. Come on, he's been finding a lot of space on this right-hand side. Zinyak is going to play it down for Gamero, who is behind him, but he gets it back to him. Can he find one more for Gamero, who's offside? He didn't finish it either. Play one, two. Zinyak for Gamero. Gamero, keep going. Gamero inside for Zinyak. Zinyak, why was that, buddy? Why would you hit it with the left foot? Play it. Zinyak, one, two. Gets it back. Can he hit it? Gets deflected. Gets blocked. Oh, but Zinyak, second bite. He's just got, you just gotta bang it in. And thinking about it, this is why I don't really like doing League SBCs, because this Zinyak card, 84 overall, as compared to the League SBC, 86 I believe overall, there's not gonna be a huge difference. And that's not to say that he's not even gonna get another inform. It could probably be 85 or 86 rated, and that card is tradable, so it's just a really big sunk cost to do SBCs in my opinion. Oh, Meta with a good step in. We have numbers. We have an overlap. Can Gamero finish it? Get through there. Oh, it's a good finish. A little dink by Gamero. If you do a low driven when you're running, it's not always going to work. But a little dink might go through. These two players, they have great finishing and great composure. And it is coming up trumps right here. We're seeing it live on LTFC. Good pass by Meta. Really good weighted. And you just see the little dink. Check was not ready for it. And he rage quit. I was not ready for that. Wow, 9.3, very even match. Gamero is in front though. We're gonna do two points for goal, one point for an assist. So Gamero is now on three points, Zinyak is only on two. All right, opponent number two is coming up and he's got Marco and Robert Perez and Salah. Interesting squad. I don't know why you're using Sanchez. Didn't actually, I forgot he was a player. But, and he's Butlin. This isn't FIFA 17. Zinyak has slightly more work to do in this second match. But both players need to impress a little bit more to get the official buy from me. Here's Zinyak. Zinyak plays it through. Toliso. It's for Gamero. Turns everyone, and he's gonna finish that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good quickness right there. I didn't do anything. I just used a left analog stick in the box. The nice dribbling. That's how you do it, boys. 
and Gamero finished it with a good composure. Oh, it's Van Basten. Van Basten for Salah. Left foot, it's gonna rebound. Oh, great block by Mendy. Benjamin on the mend. Good job by Nkudu. Single ball roll. He's gonna play it for Gamero. Oh, and Bai went on the wrong side, and it could be a second. Oh, Gamero, I should have done not a, I should have done a finesse there. I don't know why I always go for low drivens. It's Van Basten. Oh, no, Van Basten, just a single touch. Then he hits it, and then he does the dance. This guy must hate his life. He's gonna play one two with Gignac, and he wants it back. He gets it back. Can we get by Bai? We do. Can we center it? We see back post is in Kudu. What? There's Coman. Coman with the pace to beat Nacho Monreal. Go, Kingsley. Go, Kingsley. Keep running with it. Keep going, Kingsley. Now cut it in. Now play one more. Now look for that return ball. It's a great return ball, and Gignac hits it wide. Oh, no. How are you missing that? Oh no, Salah picks it up off me. That's poor defending by Perrin, and Marco Van Basten puts it wide. All right, at halftime, it's been a tough match, but really we should be up 3-1. Uh, Gignac has missed a wide open chance, and Nkudu missed the absolute sitter of the year. Gamero hasn't really had too much to do. Coman, running through the middle with pace, gets it to Gamero. Gamero's looking for that ball. It's for Kingsley. Oh, I thought the keeper was gonna come out. <laughs> I've missed three wide open chances now. Come on, Gignac, get away from David. Get away from David Luiz. Now play it down. That's a terrible pass, but Gamero picks it up. And Gamero wants a one too. And he looks lively, and he's gonna hit it. But oh, he hits it with the left, oh, okay. That's fine. Everyone calm down. Hitting it with the left is perfectly fine. Three star weak foot out the window. Benjamin Mendy says, hey man, can I borrow your ACL? Look at this hit. Wow, great, great camera work. <sighs> you couldn't give the shot from behind where it goes up or 90. I mean, what a hit. Play it down, Gignac and Coman. It's Coman. He's got to repay Gignac. He's got to repay the Jin. He repays the Jin kindly, and Gignac bangs it home three-one. I wish I knew how to do that stupid dance because I would be doing it, because I am a troll. Great pass through for Coman, and then banged it home. Good job, Jin. Full time whistle. We win three-one. That was a uh, tougher opponent, but Gignac Gamero proved to be pretty good especially Kevin Gamero with two goals. He now has a grand total of seven points, I believe. Um, no assist for either of them, and Gignac is still on four. All right, into the final match we go, and it's gonna have Cal Dad, Will Dad, John, Papa John Stones, and Daily Blint. Wow, Mesut Utzel, he's put a thing on Fernandinho, Willian, Mr. Postman. A lot of, a lot of people here, a lot of people, you know. Oh, he turns it over early on, and Kevin Gamero can run through. Kevin, oh, he turns him, turn him again. Oh, he does it. Oh no, deflection off of him. Mates it with a good turn. I didn't press a button. I don't know why it passed. That was kind of weird, but Gamera wants it back. And Kevin, oh, what a save by Courtois. Oh no, the random ghost pass was kind of weird. Mates oh, we have him, we got him. Oh, we got him. Kevin Gamera there. Just too many numbers in the box. Kevin Gamera. Does well. Kevin Gamero is kind of running away with this one. Gignac needs to do something. Whether, I don't know if, he didn't get the assist there, I don't think either. So he, uh, he's down by five points, which is a hat trick. So let's see if we, uh, we can get some. I've been trying to have it equal. I'm not trying to be biased for anyone here. But, uh, Kevin Gamero is just the better player so far. Inside for Gignac. Gignac with an okay first touch. Still has it. He gets tackled by company, but he still has it with the strength. Come on, turn him. Turn him, Ginny. Turn him, Ginny, and hit it. There you go, Ginny. That's a very Jin-like goal. And he still has about 60 minutes, about an hour, to get two more goals, as long as Kevin Gamero does not get anything, and he will win. Really good turn, right foot. Good job on Kevin Gamero getting out of the way. That was top corner, I didn't realize it. Gamero for Gignac. It's a good first touch, it's a good pass. Now Gignac is looking for a run. He's looking for Kevin Gamero. Go, Kevin, just burst through that hole. He saw the hole, oh, daily blind. For a blind man, he did pretty well there. Halftime of a very controlled match by us, and uh, Gignac, we're gonna, I might try to have a little bit more action with him, but I'm not gonna just force it to him, because I don't want it to be. I don't want the score line to not resemble how they played. By Nkudu, Nkudu plays it in. It's a great pass, and here's Gamero. Gamero on the right foot, had tried to get the angle. Oh, he did get the angle. I didn't want to hit it first time, because I didn't want to hit it with the left foot. He turned around, he did a little spin, he did a little dance. He said, I prefer Coca-Cola. And then he scored. Very nice pass by Nkudu, actually. I could have shot it right there, 
I thought the guy, I thought the guy thought I was gonna shoot it, so I expected to slide tackle. Uh, he didn't do that, but it still worked out our way. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. Um, but it's probably gonna end up in a goal for the Jin. Oh, what is that? That's a penalty. I don't know if he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna rage quit. So I don't think Camaro, I mean, I don't think Zhenyak is gonna live to see this pen. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Bye bye. Camaro gets two goals, Zhenyak gets one. Uh, no assist for anybody. Oh, a mixed contracts pack. Uh. Wow. All right, so after three matches, the review is done. I know the episode's probably gonna be a little shorter because we did have two rage quits, but I'm gonna have a ton of episodes coming out, hopefully. So uh, hopefully that makes up for it. This guy, Gavin Gamero, five goals, one assist, and three matches played. 135K is pretty expensive. And looking at these stats, uh, I would say he he played pretty similarly to how his stats say he was. His acceleration really is 89. It felt pretty quick. Uh, but the thing is that the thing holding him back is the fact that his dribbling is only 78. So he is really fast, but he's not super responsive. He doesn't have great control of the ball, which is good because you can like you can get by people. But then in tight situations, he's not really going to help you out too much. The 88 composure, 90 finishing, 88 shot power does mean that he is pretty clinical. The only thing is I didn't hit very many on the left foot just because I tried to avoid doing that. Three star weak foot typically is good enough to hit on the left foot. It's not like two star weak foot like a Mo Salah where you have to completely avoid it. Uh, the strength is not really there. The stamina, we only played one match the full 90 minutes, but he seemed to get a little bit tired. He wasn't making as many good runs in the 70 to 70 minute. But with the 90 attack positioning, he does make a lot of good runs in behind the defense. So overall, I'd give this card a, uh, I'll give it an 8.25 out of 10. It's solid. It's the kind of player that if I got him untradeable, I would use him in my starting lineup. But I would not pay 135k for him just because you can get a Ben Yedder who, although he's lower rated, I think his team in the group stage is a better card. Uh, so this Kevin Gamero is pretty good, but not the kind of player that I would break the bank for. Pierre Gignac, Andre Pierre Gignac had three goals, no assists in three matches played. And I, I'm surprised he didn't have any assists because he was really good at linking up play. The thing is he doesn't have great short passing, but his positioning, uh, even though he only has 84 attack positioning, his positioning was always such that he was kind of like a center forward and Kevin Gamero would make the runs off of him. So I thought as a partnership, they worked really well. And because he has a 92 strength, it's tough for even Eric Bailly or even a lot of the other highly rated center backs to get through him. Uh, his finishing and his composure, his shot power was also incredible, but sort of in the same vein as uh, Kevin Gamero, his dribbling, his close control isn't the kind that I use. It's not good enough for what I would use in the weekend league. So this player, he only costs 20k. I would say he's the more fun of the two because he can, I think his long shots are a little bit better, 83. And then let's see what Kevin Gamero's is. Uh, Kevin Gamero only has 79. So I think Pierre Gignac, his shot power and his long shots are a little bit more fun to use. And he has really nice uh, ability to back down center backs. But neither are really weekend league ready for me. I would, I would probably buy Gignac for 20k if you want to have fun. And uh, I would buy Kevin Gamero for maybe 75 to 80k, which I could see him dropping down to once the weekly rewards are released. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscription. Let me know who you'd like to see reviewed later. And as always, I've been your dad. Don't forget to spare pets.